Hello everyone, um, thanks for clicking to watch this video. Uh, this video is primarily for enthusiasts or perhaps more experienced owners. Um, if you aren't doing this, you're not doing anything wrong. You're fine to crack on as you are. Uh, if you want to clean some branches for the enclosure, you don't want to go this way, if you want to go the easy route, just click on the description below. Um, or if you're on the website, um, you can find it under more guides and articles and then click guides and then you can see my previous guide. As you can see in this video, I'm using a hammer and chisel to remove the bark. Uh, if the bark is particularly infested with fungus or mould, it will need to come off. Um, removing the bark has some advantages. So if you want to do it anyway, I do recommend it. Um, the main advantage is that once the bark is removed, the branch is much easier to wipe down and disinfect on a monthly basis when you're cleaning out the enclosure. Um, the main advantage for me is, is more aesthetic. Um, I prefer the, the brown and beige colour scheme uh, in, in my enclosure. Uh, I like to think of my accessories more, more like furniture rather than just things I, I put in. Um, another advantage is that while you're using the chisel, you can create grooves, uh, little ledges in the wood, so it's easier for the degus to climb it. Um, or you can etch out, you know, flat, flat areas and dips and things for, for feeding platforms. Why not? Uh, the bark scraps can also be fed to the degus as part of the natural nutrition as well, uh, if the branch is healthy. Um, or you can just, just chuck it on the bottom of the cage, makes it look more natural, degus can eat it. Great. Um, once the branch is void of bark, sand it down so it's smooth, um, pour some boiling water over it, and just give it a wipe down with a paper towel. Um, you'll notice it's, it's a, bit, a bit, a bit dirty um, on the paper towel once you've wiped it, obviously. Uh, a, a quick a quick mention on health and safety as well. Um, please use a sharp chisel while you be there all your life. And if you if you're using a sharp chisel as well, just just don't chisel yourself because it's not cool and it hurts a lot. Um, yeah, you know, seek preventable parental supervision, etc. Uh, also, be careful holding the branch after pouring the water on it because um, it's really hot boiling water, really hot. So when you're done, you should end up with a, a branch that looks sort of golden browny colour. Um, that's for the oak tree branches, what you might notice with things like apple tree is they go uh, more of a creamy colour instead. Um, while I'm here, I might as well show you some of the plants that we grow for the degus. Um, so here we've got a strawberry plant in the garden, which has just started to flower. We've got some rosemary and some thyme, things like that. Um, we also have to feed these uh, these rose petals and rose leaves. And then finally down here, we keep uh, some blackberry and strawberry plants, which are, as you can see, they're dying. So we're gonna need to plant some new ones. They've been eaten by other creatures instead of the degus, but never mind. Um, and finally over here, we keep some spare branches um, in a plastic bag. So <coughs> if the plants fancy putting some more in, then that can be done as well. These ones are dirty. The branches have got like a green sort of mold on them. Um, so that'll need to come off like I just showed you. Um, this you won't want to keep to feed the degus because it's it's not nice at all. It's horrible. And I'm sure there's other woodlife living in there as well now. 